I decided to confess my feelings to the girl I had liked for a long time after our high school graduation. She was bright and popular, and I knew from the start that someone like me wasn't a good match for her. But I wanted to create a memory or something special. Yoshimoto Ena, I like you. You're Sasaki from Class B, right? Yeah, that's right. Why now? Why now? You're going to Yuki University in Kanto, right? You know where I'm going to college. Yes, I do. It's in Kansai, right? If we started dating, it would be long distance, so you don't really expect me to say yes, do you? Well... Or maybe you think if I say yes, you'd be lucky, and if I say no, you wouldn't have to see me again, so it wouldn't be awkward? Her point was spot on, and I couldn't deny it. It was too convenient for me to confess at this timing. A lot of guys are like that, you know. I guess so. <laughs> Is something funny? No, nothing's funny. Sorry. <sighs> Rejecting a confession takes a lot of energy. I feel bad and all. And here you are confessing without any confidence of getting a yes just for your own satisfaction. It's really bothersome for me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Thinking about getting rejected means you don't have confidence in yourself, right? You can't even love yourself. With that mindset, I don't think anyone else will love you either. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I, I went too far. I was a bit frustrated and took it out on you. You're actually right. That's why my heart hurts so much right now. Should I give you an answer to your confession? No, it's okay. I understand how you feel. I see. Well, I'm going now. Yeah, thanks for making time for me. Yeah. Oh, by the way. What is it? Congratulations on graduating. That's how my unrequited love ended. It was so abrupt. I knew it would end this way from the start. No, I shouldn't think like that. Her point was correct. How could someone as insecure as me think someone so attractive could like me? But this confession wasn't meaningless. Even though she rejected me, it still meant something. I'll change from now on. I'll become someone I can like. I'm glad I made this decision at the end of high school, and someday I hope to stand proudly in front of her and see her again. Not to confess, but to thank her for giving me the chance to grow. Six years later... Hey, are you Sasaki? Naoya Sasaki, right? Yes. I knew it! Long time no see. You've really gotten handsome. I didn't recognize you at first. Do you know Sasaki? Actually, we were classmates in high school. Wow, that's a coincidence. I'm really surprised. Six years have passed since I graduated high school. Since then, I graduated college and got a job at a top company in the industry. Today, I have a meeting with a new client, and there she was. The girl who dumped me before high school graduation, Enai Yoshimoto. Hey, did you forget about me? No way, I remember you. Oh, good. You've been in Tokyo, right? Yeah, there are more job opportunities in Tokyo. I can't believe you and Yoshimoto have this connection. It feels like fate. Yeah, this project seems like it's going to go well, right, Sasaki? 
Yeah. What's wrong with you? You were so motivated earlier. I'm just a bit surprised. I get it. Meeting such a cute classmate again must be shocking. She was probably popular back in high school. Was she someone you admired? Yes, she was popular with everyone. Really? Did you confess to her or something? Can we stop? Let's get to work. Hey, Yoshimoto, did this guy confess to you back in the day? Stop it! We barely interacted. We just talked a little before graduation. I see. Enough chit-chat. Let's work. After several hours, the meeting ended. Sasaki, the materials you prepared are really easy to understand. Thank you. Yoshimoto, you should learn from him too. Yes. From now on, I'll handle this project alone. And I'll have him handle it with all sincerity. He's our hope, so please expect great things from him. Senpai! What is it? I told you properly, didn't I? Yeah, but I'll support you, so do your best. Okay. This is my first time being entrusted with a project alone. Me too. So it's your first time too? Yes. Let's do our best together. Senpai, do I have to handle this project? Do you not want to? It's not that I don't want to, but... I didn't want to work alone with someone who rejected me in the past. Or rather, I didn't want to see her again. I thought you'd be fine with it. What do you mean? In work, you don't always get to choose who you work with. Sometimes you have to work with people you don't like. Yeah. So, you're saying I have to do it? Not exactly. What do you mean? I mean, don't run away. Got it. Understood, I won't run away. And it's an opportunity. What? She was your high school crush, right? Maybe you could get closer and even start dating. That's not going to happen. That's impossible. We're not a match. I changed after she rejected me. I wanted to change my introverted personality, so I challenged myself in many ways. I worked part-time, joined clubs, volunteered, and traveled alone during long breaks. Thanks to that, I made a lot of friends, and I got a job at the top company in the industry. I think I've become an average guy, but to stand in front of her, being average isn't enough. I wish I could have met her after growing more. I don't hate myself as much as I used to, but she's special to me, so I wanted to be special when I met her again. Yoshimoto, about page two of this document. Yes? Aren't the numbers wrong? Huh? Where? Here. You're right. How did that happen? I think it's using the data from document seven. It's a copy-paste error. Got it. I'll fix it. Thanks. You've really changed. What do you mean? I mean, you weren't like this before, right? Now you take care of your appearance and you have good taste in clothes and accessories? <laughs> Thanks. And now you speak with confidence. It's been six years since we last met. Yeah, people grow in that time. Thanks to you. Hey. Yes? I'm really sorry about back then. What? 
You might not believe me, but I always felt bad for being harsh when you bravely confessed to me. I didn't even give you a proper answer. I said I didn't mind. In that situation, you had to say that. I really don't mind. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Grateful? To me? Yes. I thought I was really harsh on you. That's exactly why. Wait, are you into that kind of thing? No, I'm not. You're really not mad? If you get the wrong idea, I will get mad. I see. I, I won't misunderstand then. And I genuinely believe that. What do you mean? Earlier, you said you might not believe me. Yeah? I believe you, so please don't worry about it. Why do you believe me? Normally, someone wouldn't remember the face of a guy they only talked to once six years ago, yet you recognized me right away. Honestly, I feel more sorry for making you feel guilty because of my confession. So, can we agree to let go of the past grievances? Of course! Let's work hard as colleagues from now on. Thank you. Right away, could you please correct the documents by tomorrow morning? Huh? Uh, can it wait until the day after tomorrow? No, it can't. You're stingy. You can call it whatever you want. Let's use our old school ties to sort this out. From now on, we're colleagues, so let's get along. At first, I was filled with anxiety, but once we got started, working with her was enjoyable. She makes a lot of mistakes, but she accepts feedback gracefully and apologizes when needed. People like her are surprisingly rare. Those who are overly praised and have high pride often can't admit their mistakes. And her straightforward way of speaking was refreshing. Her passion for this project really came through. I was determined to make this project a success. I'm heading to Yoshimoto's for a meeting. I'll probably be late, so I'll head straight home from there. Got it. I've uploaded all the necessary documents to the cloud. Okay, I'll check them later. Please do. Hey, Sasaki. Yeah? You seem happier lately. Really? Yeah, and your work performance has been great too. Keep it up like that. <laughs> Got it. Senpai praised me earlier. Really? That's great. I'll definitely make sure this project is a success at this rate. Yeah. Although there's not much left to do since it's almost finished. Yeah. It went by in a flash. Naoya really helped us a lot, didn't you? It's mutual. We've been working on this project together for six months now. Bosses' checks and approvals are done, and the finish line is right in front of us. Somewhere along the way, our way of addressing each other changed, too. I'm glad you're my partner on this job, Naoya. What's up, all of a sudden? No, just feeling genuinely grateful to you. Thanks. But we're not done yet. Yeah, we can't let our guard down till the end. That's right. Sometimes you make surprisingly big mistakes. Hey, cut it out. But it's true, right? Yeah, it is, but... <laughs> hey, Naoya. What's up? Wanna go for a drink? 
Huh? Today? After we finish the project we're working on. You mean a celebration? Yes, of course. Why all of a sudden? <laughs> My pronunciation was bad just now, right? Then show me how it's done. Sure. Will you celebrate with me? Yes, of course. And it's decided. Well then, good job. Yeah. The project was a success. Both Anna and I received a lot of praise and recognition. I've been working for two years now. I'm starting to feel a bit of growth. Oh, this is delicious. It really is. I'll order another round. Already? That was fast. You don't want more? I do. That's the spirit. We drank and ate a lot. We ate salad, devoured hot steak, got excited over freshly baked bread, debated the best way to eat creative dishes, smiled over desserts, and drank beer and wine like water. We talked a lot, too. We talked about favorite foods, disliked colors, how we spend our weekends, hobbies, mutual acquaintances from high school. I heard our math teacher, Mr. Shinkai, got married. Really? That brings back memories. Events during my college life. I traveled overseas during breaks. It was always on a tight budget, though. Which country did you enjoy the most? Italy was great. The squid ink pasta in Venice was delicious. Oh, I'm so jealous. Why I started my current job, a bit of work-related complaints. I almost got harassed by my manager. What did you do? I recorded the audio and took it to the higher-ups. You're strong. We laughed and talked like good friends. Are you drinking? Yeah, I am. Good. Are you drinking too? Yep, drinking a lot. <laughs> drinking like crazy. Then it's all good. I'm having so much fun. Me too. I never imagined in high school that we'd be drinking together like this. Yeah. Working together, calling each other by our first names, and now drinking together. It's all because you turned me down back then. What do you mean? If you hadn't turned me down back then, I wouldn't have become who I am now. I would have probably still lacked confidence and disliked myself. What you said made me want to believe in myself, and I've been working hard since then. It made me want to change. I see. But I'm still not quite there yet. Oh, that's not true. You've become really cool, both inside and out. You're making me blush. It's true. If it were now, the ending would be different. What do you mean? I mean, if it were the current you and me, things would turn out differently. Does that mean... Maybe it's the alcohol, but her eyes were a little watery. A sweet drunkenness shimmered in her big eyes. I'm not so naive that I don't understand what she means. Despite all the drinks, my throat suddenly feels dry. My face feels hot and my heart is pounding. It's unfair, isn't it? What? It's unfair for me to ask you to confess to me again after I turned you down before. That's not... 
This time, I'll be brave. I like you. If it's okay, would you go out with me? Is it really okay for it to be me? Yes, I want it to be you. I'm happy. I always wanted to hear you say that. So... Yeah, be my girlfriend! Ugh, I'm so relieved. I was really nervous. Really? Of course. Why? Because it was my first time confessing. I've had a lot of guys confess to me before, but they're amazing. Uh, they went through this for me. Let's toast again. Sure. To the success of my confession. And to our happiness tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. We clinked our glasses together, a toast we couldn't have known as high schoolers. Something we can do now that we've grown up. A relationship we can build now. But still, we laughed together innocently. Just like in high school. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.